And for a million years, we've been driving them here. But why Bucky's? Well, why the Springboks? Why Biltong? Why Miriam Makeba? Why Nelson Mandela? Bucky's are who we are, and it's the essence of where we live. But let's forget about the Toyota Hilux for a minute and how brilliant it actually is and speak about those double cabs that redefine South African society like the Mutsubushi cult. Now, in the late 1990s, when the Mutsubushi cult hit the streets, it proved to us that double cabs could look pretty sick with 22 inches and that there is the truth of it. But it was the Gen 2 Nissan Navara that really showed us that a double cab could look sick in suburbia until 2011 came along and the Ford Ranger and the Wild Track really showed us, well, what else was there? Of course though, none of those are the coolest anymore and it's got us thinking, what now is the coolest Bucky on the market? Well, it's this, the Isuzu X-Rider. Look, the Ford Ranger Raptor is here and yes, it is amazingly cool, but that thing costs twice as much as this X-Rider. So I'll tell you right here, right now, in this majestic place, with this face and these wheels, in this color, the X-Rider is the coolest Bucky in South Africa. All them Buckies considered. <laughs> 